Welcome back to Around the Table. Um, I'm here again with Rod Healy and Jamor, two of our elders, our eldest elders. Um, so today we are going to be talking about um, advice and what the best piece of advice that you have ever been given is. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I remember uh, back when I was in my 40s, I decided to go back to school and uh, I was working a job that was 10 hours a day, sometimes even more. And I said, man, I, you know, to give four more years of my life and I've got to do all this, man, I'll be, I'll be 44 years old by then. This person looked at me and said, well, how are you going to be in four years from now if you don't go back to college? <laughs> and I, you know, it just kind of <laughs> dawned on me that, uh, and it's actually Bible college. And, uh, Best thing I ever did. Never, never felt the calling to be a pastor or, or a preacher by any stretch. I just wanted to learn how to live life. And I thought that was a great way to do it. And uh, it, it, it turned out that way. That, uh, that piece of advice is what enabled me to be a good manager. It was to apply the principles that Christ's teachings that I was taught out of the Bible uh, that made me more successful in business. So. I transferred that into my corporate life, and it was uh, it was a, a life-changing, simple statement to me that changed my whole life and, and outlook for years and years to go, you know, to come. So, well, <clears throat> I've had opportunities to get a lot of good advice because I've always needed it. But uh, one of the <laughs> best pieces of advice I've ever received was a statement: <clears throat> "Quit trying to live." The Christian life because you can't and that you know mm. really spoke deep in that we try so hard we try to follow the rules check the boxes I do this I don't do this I meet expectations but it brings frustration particularly when we fail it brings condemnation and the person said this you know quit trying to live the Christian life because you can't Christ didn't come to fix your life. He came to give you new life. And that's what we need to be walking in. Now let's turn the tables a little bit. What is the number one piece of advice, um, just general piece of advice that you would want to give someone? I would, I would have to say the most important piece of advice to give and to hear from someone would be to and this may sound a little simplistic, is to trust God with your life. Trust Him with your future. And having said that, the only way that you can possibly do that is by building that relationship with Him through study of the Word. Let, As Rod said earlier, let the Lord begin and, and the Holy Spirit begin to speak to you out of His Word, you know, to teach us. I tell people, if you're not a, a, a student of the Bible, start in the book of Proverbs. Just start reading the book of Proverbs, go to Ecclesiastes, then go back to Psalms, and you'll start remembering scriptures that intertwine with each other. And I have found much more often than not that God will speak to me out of things I've read. And that opens up the line of communication, His Word does, for us to be able to communicate back and forth with the Holy Spirit. The Word is essential. And in America today, I think there's so much other things that uh, challenge our time. You know, Facebook, all these, all these different uh, modes of, of communication. But yet, the Bible itself, there are a lot of coffee tables. But how many times do we crack the Bible and open it up, and before we even start, to say, Lord, speak to me today. I need help, I need change. I need strength, I need healing. Whatever it is that we need, ask God to speak to us and He will. And He's never failed me yet. So that's what I would say. Well, I would go back to that personal relationship that um, the more clearly I can see Christ, the more it affects my living and the more it changes me. And uh, so, 
That's mm -hmm. what I would encourage people to do at a, at a young, as, young as you can is to develop that relationship to realize that Christianity is not a set of rules. It is about a person. Right. That's right. It is a person. And I mm -hmm. think that we lose that. And maybe it's easier to lose that because, you know, again, we can fall into a legalistic type approach to it. But it's all about a person and knowing that person. And the real change in your life comes from that relationship and that life being poured into you and you gravitating because this is what you really want. You find real satisfaction in that life. I'd like to add one more if I had that just came to me uh, that, that I, I feel like I, I should share. And I think that's the uh, not neglecting the fellowship of the saints. Mm -hmm. I think, you know, being able to have uh, dear friends and friends, you know, like, like Jesus had different layers of friends. But uh, it's so important to have that fellowship, to, to have a relationship with people that are like-minded people that are on the journey just like you are, people that are in your life to where when you have issues come up, you're not standing alone. You're not there all by yourself, but God built the body for the purpose of supporting one another in prayer and encouragement and having fun together and you know whatever it is. But uh, make, make a place in your life for people. Make a, make a place to be able to share your life with others because I don't care who you are or where you've been or what you've done, you have something to give to other people that'll make a difference. And the more we do that, the more it is encouraged by the Holy Spirit, gifted by the Holy Spirit, and uh, it has a huge impact on a local church like ours. Thank you both for sharing. Our pleasure. Some great advice. <laughs> Our pleasure. Mm -hmm.